bringing it all together. In this section, we will demonstrate bootstrapping the microservices to connect to the supporting services. We'll be deploying the microservices to PCF using a manifest. We'll be viewing the config server, discovery server, and circuit breaker dashboards in action. And we'll be leveraging the Spring Boot Actuator library to refresh your Spring application context on the fly. Bootstrapping the microservices to connect to the supporting services. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the code and components needed for a microservice architecture in PCF. So here we are in our Eclipse IDE. And so far, we've made quite a few applications. But the ones we're going to be covering are the customer dash service application and the Rust web service application. So the customer service application exposes a RESTful web service. When we hit this Rust endpoint, it's going to make a call to Rust web service. And the Rust web service is what persists and gets the items from the database. So this is kind of like a data service. Using Spring Data, as you can see, we can fetch things directly from a database. It's just one line of code to get something from a database with Spring Data. So that's an overview of what our applications do. And so you can think of the customer service application as a client application to the Rust web service application, because the customer service application consumes the Rust web service application. So for the server application, typically what we would need, the services we would use is it would, we just want it to be service registry. We can also configure it to use the config server, but for this application, we did not. So for the server application, we want this application to register the discovery server. So we specify that in the, in the services section of the manifest. Definitely where you want to start is with the dependencies. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the proper dependencies for this application to register with, with the discovery. So you want to add the, the Spring Cloud Service Registry dependency in your dependency management bomb. And on the main class, you need at enable discovery client. And this is all you need for this application to, once it's pushed to PCF, to register with the discovery service. Now with the customer service, this is a client application. This is going to leverage all of micro supporting services. The circuit breaker dashboard, it's gonna use the discovery library to fetch healthy IPs from the discovery service by app name and, and using container to container networking. To send a request directly to that application instances host and port. So this app also fetches its config from the config server that's bound to it in PCF. And so get all these things working. Again, we wanna make sure we have the right dependencies and are either Maven Palm or build.gradle so we have these three primary Spring Cloud services with our dependency management palm. And these apps are fairly simple. There's not a lot of code because with the Spring Boot libraries, everything's very short and concise. And so things are very simple. Now to this application's main, main class, we're going to add the at enable discovery client and at enable circuit breaker pattern. So the at, the at enable circuit breaker annotation will allow us to tell this app to send off its Systrix metrics to the RabbitMQ and since running in PCF. So that's an overview of what's required to get the supporting architecture, with, to get this microservice architecture going in PCF. You know, it's mainly these dependencies and the annotations on the main class. And with Hystrix, we annotate the methods that we want to make Hystrix commands. Typically it's the methods that make the network calls. And so that's our, this is all the code that is required for our microservices architecture, very short, concise code. To make sure the typical pattern in Spring Boot is if you're pinning your, your application app properties, you can have a class annotated with that component. And we're also gonna add one thing here at refresh scope to this. And what that'll do, and by adding at refresh scope to our class, essentially what's gonna happen is when we hit the slash refresh actuator endpoint, all of this spring application context will reinitialize and repick up the beans from upcoming properties that are in GitHub. Okay. To summarize, the three key supporting services for microservices supporting architecture in PCF are discovery, config server, and the circuit breaker dashboard. We use the PCF Spring Boot libraries to allow our applications to leverage the above supporting services.